Sports 101R Smith, also known as Reggie Smith. I am back with the Gunpla Network to bring you yet another brand new review. This time we're taking a look at the Master Grade Gundam 00 Quanta Full Saber. The box art is an eye catcher, definitely. What it goes for is it tries to depict the Gundam 00 Quanta in space combat with a lot of action happening in the background and it definitely tries to pull your eye into the GN Sword 4. It really wants you to pay attention to the fact that this is not the same double quanta that you're used to seeing either in the original Mastery box or during the depictions of the anime. It's definitely the highlight of the box and overall it looks great. It's an eye catcher and any fan of Gunpla will definitely want to check it out and wonder what it's about. The building process for the Gundam double quanta is somewhat long now hear me out what i mean is that it takes a lot of time to actually build the double quanta because there's a lot of intricate frame that goes into it if you don't know the gundam double quanta and the master grade double riser are derivatives of the perfect grade the perfect grade double riser was developed in 2009 and then when the original releases came out Bandai decided to take the inner frame developed by the Perfect Grade and downscale it into Master Grade form. The both the Quanta and Double O Riser use it almost the exact same frame. So think of it like building a small Perfect Grade. A lot of built-in detail, a lot of small pieces that make up big pieces. And overall, it's time consuming, but not in a difficult or malicious way. Definitely wants you to be more involved, pay more attention. And when you have the finished product, it's definitely a paying off. I will give the building process for the Gundam Double Quanta a 9 out of 10. Once you have the Double Quanta all built up, it looks amazing. It's very sharp, the perfect shades of the traditional Gundam colors, and overall will stand out just on the angular build and the asymmetry that the Double Quanta has. If anyone was wondering how it looks differently from the original, here's how it's different. It has a brand new V-fin which is a lot sharper and more angular than the original one. And it has a brand new GN drive in the backpack. One note, you might want to glue that down if you don't plan to have LEDs. The backpack does come out very easily, even after it's locked down. Otherwise, I would say this is a sharp representation of the double O Quanta, with the only exception possibly beating that out in terms of aesthetics are the real grade and the metal build. I will give the overall look of the Gundam double O Quanta to be a 9 out of 10. The articulation, just like the looks of the Quanta, are phenomenal. Everything that you can pose with, you can pose with. I can do pretty much anything that could come across in my mind. Thankfully, because Double O has a little bit more articulation in terms of human movement, it works out very well, especially with the toes and the feet, how they can pivot and point up and down. You have a beautiful double jointed knee, which helps with a lot of posing. The joint is very tight and will not loose and will not let you down arms have a beautiful double jointed bend and hands and wrists work well as in itself definitely the waist is a standout because it can go side to side up and down and even movement on the chest pieces as well it's definitely a well-built machine that can pose and get you a lot of great posing the only maybe minor nitpick about posing is often as you're posing the little pieces on the side skirts can fall off very easily and it's very tedious to put them back together. So be mindful of that whenever you're doing articulation in terms of the legs. I will give the articulation of the double O Quanta an eight and a half out of 10. Now we're gonna take a look at the accessories and I have to say, ironically, this is a double edged sword. Now what I mean is with this package, not only the original Quanta, but the full saber, you're getting a lot of blades. Starting off with the original assortment of equipment, you get the GN Sword 5. It's a simple sword, which is somewhat of an improvement over the GN Sword 3, and you can hold it in both sword and rifle mode. 
I find that the items in question are difficult to manage because of the attachment not only to the hands, but into the forearm as well. It often doesn't stay as long as I would like and falls off. You can also attach to the side using a spare piece, but again, we've already discussed how the side skirt armor doesn't exactly work with you. Along with the GN Sword 5, you come with the GN Sword bits. Six smaller blades that could be used individually or as a unit to form other swords and equipment for Cessna to use in combat. While these work a little bit better, again, you're suffering due to the peg in the hands. And then when you combine it all for the GN Buster Sword, you're kind of stuck. Because while you can cheat out a little bit in order to hold it, you will never hold it at full extension. The Buster Sword here makes Cloud Stripe look like a marked swordsman when he's been pretending to be soldier for half the game. As well, it does come with a stand to help you with the assortment of equipment. However, it just does not work. And I find that the GN Sword 5 and the GN Sword Buster Sword do not work in terms of posability unless you have an action base to go along with it. In terms of the full saber, I find that to be a bit of an improvement over the original assortment of weapons. Here's what I'm trying to say is that the GN Full Saber is a mass improvement over the original GN Sword 5 due to the fact that you do have a bit more assortment with four blades and doesn't take up as much space as the original. As well, you get a stand for it just for that as well. What you did in the original Quanta, but I feel like the stand works a little bit better than the original. And just because it doesn't have as much weight due to the fact that it's just not as many pieces. So my feelings towards the accessories are that you can get great posing out of it if you're patient. But if unless you have two action bases, both for the Gundam and for the equipment, it's going to be very difficult to pull off the more intricate and more elaborate and dynamic posing. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to give the majority of the accessories on this kit a 7 out of 10. What is the fun factor of the 00 Quanta? It sets in its ultimate suit for starters. Not only that, but again, you get an assortment of equipment with the GN Sword 5, you get the Buster Sword, and you get the Full Saber. I personally love the Full Saber because it's actually like holding up Excalibur. And you can actually turn it into a fun, creative amount of weapons. And just a lot of, you can get a lot of great posing. You can pull off some really cool action scenes once you have an action base for both the weapons and the Gundam. As long as you have those two things, nothing can stop you except your imagination. Without it, it can be a little bit more difficult to pull off dynamic posing. As well, whatever you can come up might not work in terms of gravity, but I think it pulls off very well. I was asked by Gunpla Network, the team here, when I finished this build of this Gundam, I was asked, is this a kit killer? Or sh as I should elaborate a little bit more, is this better than the original release of the Gundam Double O Quanta? And I will say yes. How this improves the original release is that for starters, you're not missing anything. Even if you just want the original Double O Quanta, nothing is taken away in this release. Every single original piece from that original Double O Quanta is present in this package. Not only that, you get the GN Full Saber, which to me, I find it to be a vast improvement over the GN Buster Sword. Not to say that the GN Sword 5 is horrible, but I just like having a physical sword being welded by Setsuna's Gundam. I feel that it's a great fit for him as a character and a Gundam Meister. As well as you get the original release, you get additions to this kit that are somewhat improvements, like the new V-Fin that I just find to be such more prominent than the original one. As well, you get the brand new accessory that really brings out more of the personality of this kit. And I find it to be a very well built kit, very well crafted, and I would recommend this to anyone. If you really want the original Quanta, it's still available and it's honestly not that expensive of a release. But for $20 more, you get an action base for the weapon, you get brand new pieces and you get an additional weapon that you could use for other things, not even just for the Quanta, but for customization purposes. This package should be everything that a double O 
fan would want in terms of what is best for Seth's and his suits. I would pick this over the original release at any time. And I give this a thumbs up and a strong recommendation. This is 101R Smith and I will see you later.